Victoria Fyodorovna Azarenka, born July 31, 1989, is a Belarusian professional tennis player. Azarenka is a former world number one in singles, having claimed the top ranking for the first time on January 30, 2012. She was the year-end number one in 2012 and has held the top ranking for a combined total of 51 weeks. Azarenka has won 21 WTA Tour singles titles, including two major singles titles at the 2012 and 2013 Australian Opens, becoming the first Belarusian player, male or female, to win a major singles title. Azarenka is also a three-time major finalist at the U.S. Open, finishing runner-up to Serena Williams in both 2012 and 2013 and to Naomi Osaka in 2020. In singles, she has won six premier mandatory tournaments, including the Sunshine Double in 2016, four premier five tournaments, and the singles bronze medal at the 2012 London Olympics. She was the runner-up at the 2011 WTA Finals to Petra Kivitova, reached four other major singles semifinals, Australian Open in 2023, Wimbledon in 2011 and 2012, and the French Open in 2013, and had nine other major quarterfinal appearances. She finished with a year-end top 10 singles ranking from 2009 to 2013. Azarenka has won 10 WTA Tour doubles titles, including one WTA 1000, two Premier Mandatory, and two Premier 5 titles, reached four major finals in women's doubles, and reached a career high ranking of number 7 in the world on July 7, 2008. She has won three mixed doubles titles, two being major titles at the 2007 U.S. Open with compatriot Max Murny and the 2008 French Open with Bob Bryan, and the third being the Olympic gold medal in mixed doubles at the 2012 London Olympics with Murny. Personal life Early life Azarenko was born in Minsk, Belarusian SSR, Soviet Union, as Victoria Azarenko, to Alla and Fedor Azarenka. Her tennis idol is German former player Steffi Graf. In an interview, Azarenka said Graf's calendar Golden Slam in 1988 is my biggest motivation. At age 15, Azarenka moved full-time to Scottsdale, Arizona, United States, from Minsk, Belarus, to train and live. In this she was aided by National Hockey League goalie Nikolai Kabibulin and his wife, who was a friend of Azarenka's mother. In 2012, she became registered in Monaco, but in August 2013, she purchased a large ocean-overlooking house in Manhattan Beach, California as her principal residence. Azarenka dated American musician Redfoo from late 2012 to early 2014. Azarenka has spoken about her experience of depression during her injury-induced absence from professional tennis in 2014. Custody battle Azarenka and former boyfriend Billy McKeague have one son, Leonard born in 2016, immediately after 2017 Wimbledon, they split and became involved in a custody battle for their son. Azarenka then withdrew from the remaining 2017 tournaments. In January 2018, Azarenko won an early round of the U.S. custody proceedings when a Los Angeles County Superior Court judge ruled that the custody case of their U.S.-born son should not take place in Los Angeles, but in Belarus. In April 2018, Azarenko returned to the tour, competing in Europe. In December 2018, the California Courts of Appeal ruled that the L.A. County Superior Court had jurisdiction over the case, overturning the initial L.A. County Superior Court Belarus jurisdiction decision. Ukraine invasion In March 2022, Azarenka released a statement on Twitter to state her heartbreak concerning the actions that have taken place, the 2022 Russian invasion of Ukraine, aided by her native Belarus, and declare, d, her dismay and great sadness at the events in Ukraine, saying, I have always seen Ukrainian and Belarusian people, and, nations, friendly and supportive of one another. It is hard to witness the violent separation that is currently taking place instead of supporting and finding compassion for each other. Tennis career Early career Azarenka debuted on the ITF junior circuit in November 2003 in Israel, winning one doubles title with countrywoman Olga Gavortsova. At Wimbledon, Azarenka reached the semifinals of the girls' competition, only to be defeated by eventual runner-up Anna Ivanovich, despite having two match points in the marathon third set. 
she continued to participate in ITF tournaments in 2004, and at the end of the season she had a singles rank of 508 on the WTA Tour. Azarenka had a successful year in 2005, winning two junior Grand Slams, the Australian, she would eventually win the seniors competition in 2012 and 2013, and U.S. championships. She ended the season as the junior world number one and was named the 2005 world champion by the ITF, becoming the first Belarusian to do so. In addition, she reached her first semi-final on the main tour in Guangzhou, China. She went from the qualifying draw of the tournament to the main draw, where she defeated Martina Sucha and Peng Shui, before losing to the eventual champion Yen Zi. Junior Slam Results, Australian Open, W. 2005, French Open, Wimbledon, SF, 2004, 2005, U.S. Open, W, 2005, 2006, U.S. Open third round in February 2006 in Memphis, Azarenka defeated her first top 20 player, Nicole Vedasova, and defeated her second top 30 player in Yelena Yankovic at Miami that same year, on clay, Azarenko pushed 2004 French Open champion Anastasia Mosquina to a third set in Rome and took clay court specialist Annabel Medina Garrigues to 9-7 in the third set in the first round. At Roland Garros At the 2006 Wimbledon Championships Azarenko lost in first round to 2005 junior Wimbledon and 2006 junior French Open champion and wildcard Agnieszka Radwanska. At the 2006 U.S. Open, she had her first win over Mesquina in the first round and lost to Anna Shakvatadze in the third round, her best result in a Grand Slam event to that date. In her next tournament, Azarenka reached her second pro-level semifinal in Tashkent, losing to Sun Tian Tian. She finished the year reaching the final of an ITF event in Pittsburgh, losing to Canadian Alexandra Wozniak. 2007, first WTA final ranked world number 96, Azarenka began the year by playing two tournaments in Australia. She lost in the second round of qualifying at the Marilla Hobart International. At the Australian Open, Azarenka reached the third round of a Grand Slam singles tournament for the second consecutive time, where she lost to world number 11 Yelena Yankovic in straight sets. She was upset in the first round of the French Open by Karen Knapp of Italy, and at Wimbledon, she lost in the third round to 14th-seeded Nicole Vedasova. At the U.S. Open, Azarenka upset former world number one Martina Hingis in the third round, before 2004 U.S. Open champion Svetlana Kuznetsova beat her in the fourth round. In mixed doubles, Azarenka and countryman Max Murney won the title, defeating Megan Shaughnessy and Leander Pays. She ended her year at the Tier 1 Kremlin Cup in Moscow, where she defeated world number 4, Maria Sharapova, in the second round, in their first meeting. She then lost to the eventual winner of the tournament, world number 14 Elena Dementieva, in the quarterfinal. At the same tournament, Azarenka and her doubles partner Tatiana Pouchek, also of Belarus, lost in the final to the world number three team of Liesl Huber and Kara Black, in three sets. Azarenka's results at the Kremlin Cup elevated her rankings to career highs of world number 27 in singles and world number 29 in doubles. 2008, Australian Open Final in doubles Azarenka began the year at the Australian Women's Hard Courts Tournament in Gold Coast. Unseeded, she reached the semi-finals, where she beat fifth-seeded Shahar Pierre of Israel, Azarenka's sixth top-20 victory. In her third career WTA Tour final, she lost to Li Na, but the points she earned in this tournament were enough to improve her ranking to a career-best world number 25. Azarenka at 2008 Wimbledon Azarenka was seeded 26th at the Australian Open. This was her first appearance as a seeded player in a Grand Slam singles tournament. She showed no ill effects from a leg injury while winning her first two matches, but lost in the third round to seventh seeded, defending champion and future rival Serena Williams. In doubles, Azarenka and her partner Peter were seeded 12th. They made it to the finals, before losing to the unseeded team of Katarina and Alona Bondarenko. Azarenka entered the French Open as the form player of the clay court season, having reached the semifinals in Berlin and the quarterfinals in Rome. Seeded 16th, she won her first three matches in straight sets, for the loss of only six games. 
In the second round, she defeated Serena Sursti of Romania before defeating 18th seeded and future French Open champion Francesca Schiavone of Italy in the third round. She then lost to fourth seeded Kuznetsova in the fourth round. Azarenka teamed with American Bob Bryan to win the mixed doubles title at the French Open, defeating the top seeded team of Katarina Srbotnik and Nainad Zimanich in the final. At Wimbledon, Azarenka was seeded 16th in singles and 6th in doubles, with Pierre. In singles, Azarenka was defeated by 21st seeded Nadia Petrova of Russia in the third round in two close tiebreaks. In doubles, Azarenka and Pierre reached the quarterfinals, where they lost to the top seeded team of Kara Black and Liesel Huber. At the Olympic tennis tournament in Beijing, Azarenka lost to Venus Williams in the third round. Azarenko was seeded 14th at the U.S. Open, but was defeated by 21st seed Caroline Wozniacki in the third round. 2009, three titles, top 10, major doubles final Azarenka began the year at the Brisbane International as the second seed. She defeated Katarina Bondarenko, Jarmila Groth, Lucy Safarova, and Sarah Arani, all in straight sets to reach her fifth career final. In the final, Azarenka defeated third seed Marion Bertoli to win her first WTA career title. Azarenka was seeded 13th at the Australian Open. She advanced to the fourth round for the first time, winning the first set against world number no. two Serena Williams, before she retired citing heat stress. Azarenka competing at the 2009 French Open at the Cellular South Cup in Memphis, Azarenka was seeded second. She won her second WTA title by beating her doubles partner and top-seeded Caroline Wozniacki in the final. Afterwards, Wozniacki and Azarenko won the doubles title, beating Michaela Krajicek and Yuliana Fedak in the final. At the BNP Paribas Open, Azarenko was seeded eighth and reached the semifinals, where she lost to her doubles partner and eventual champion Vera Zvonareva. Because of her performance at this tournament, Azarenka improved her singles ranking to a career best world number 10. She was the second woman from Belarus ever to be ranked that high, following Natasha Zvereva, who was ranked world number 5 in the late 1980s. At the Sony Ericsson Open in Key Biscayne, Florida, Azarenka was seeded 11th. She defeated world number 1 and 2 time defending champion, Serena Williams, in the final in straight sets. This was Azarenka's first Tier 1 or Premier Mandatory Event title. Azarenka also became the sixth teenage female singles champion in the history of this tournament, with the others being Steffi Graf, Monica Seles, Martina Hingis, Venus Williams, and Gabriella Sabatini. By winning this tournament, Azarenka's ranking increased to a new career high of world number 8. Her next tournament was on clay at the Porsche Grand Prix in Stuttgart, Germany, where she lost to Gisela Dolko in the second round. At the Italian Open, Azarenka lost to Svetlana Kuznetsova in the semifinals. At Roland Garros, Azarenka was seeded ninth. She ousted defending champion Anna Ivanovic in the fourth round and advanced to her first Grand Slam quarterfinal, where she fell to top seed Dinara Safina in three sets. With her partner Elena Vesnina, Azarenka made the final of the ladies' doubles at Roland Garros. In the final, they lost to the Spanish pairing of Garriguez and Ruano Pascual. She withdrew from her first match at the Aegon International, the warm-up for Wimbledon, citing a hip injury. Azarenka was seeded eighth at Wimbledon. She fell to second seed and eventual winner Serena Williams in the quarterfinals, receiving a bye in the first round at the Los Angeles, Azarenka fell to Maria Sharapova. In Cincinnati, Azarenka lost to Elena Yankovic in the third round, committing 11 double faults. At the Rogers Cup in Toronto, she was seeded ninth. She lost to returning Kim Kleisters in the second round. At the U.S. Open, Azarenka was seeded eighth. She fell to Francesca Schiavone in the third round. Seeded eighth at the Pan Pacific Open in Tokyo, she lost to Lee Na in the quarterfinals in a third set tiebreak, giving up a 5 to 1 lead in the first set. In her next tournament, the China Open, Azarenko was seeded ninth. She lost in the second round to recent Tokyo champion Maria Sharapova while serving for the match twice. 
she intended to play the Kremlin Cup in Moscow, but she withdrew. At the year-end Sony Ericsson Championships in Doha, Azarenka vanquished Yelena Yankovic in her first-round Robin match. In her second match, however, Azarenka was defeated by Caroline Wozniacki. Azarenka failed to convert a match point in the final set in which she led by a break on four occasions. Azarenka also conceded her serve at 5-5 to leave Wozniacki serving for the match after receiving a point penalty for racket abuse. Due to her loss to Wozniacki, Azarenka had to defeat second alternate Agnieszka Radwanska to qualify for the semifinals. She led with a double break, before going on to lose nine of the next ten games, eventually conceding the match and retiring while trailing in the third set, citing severe cramping. Azarenka ended the year ranked world number seven, with a 45-15 win loss record, having won three titles and qualified for the year-end championships for the first time in her career. 2010, steady ranking Azarenka began the season at the Hong Kong Tennis Classic Exhibition. She was part of Team Europe, along with Caroline Wozniacki and Stefan Edberg. In her first match, she defeated Gisela Dolgo. The match was played best of one set due to rain. She withdrew from her remaining matches due to illness. She was seeded sixth at the Medibank International. She won her first three matches, but in the semi-finals, she fell to fifth seed Elena Dementieva. At the Australian Open, she was seeded seventh. In the fourth round against ninth seed Vera Zvonareva, she rallied to win, but lost to Serena Williams in the quarterfinal. Azarenko was up a set and four games before Williams came back to win in three sets. This was the third consecutive year she has lost to Williams at this tournament. Seated fourth at the Dubai Tennis Championships, on her way to the final, she defeated Vera Zvonareva in the quarterfinals and Agnieszka Radwanska in the semifinals. In the final, she lost to defending champion Venus Williams. At the BNP Paribas Open, she was seated third, but was upset in the third round by Maria Jose Martinez Sanchez. At the Sony Ericsson Open, where she was the defending champion in fourth seed, she lost in fourth round to 14th seed and eventual champion Kim Kleisters. This was the fourth match in the five tournaments this year that Azarenko lost to eventual champions. At the Andalusia Tennis Experience, she was the top seed but retired in her quarterfinal match against Maria Jose Martinez Sanchez, citing a left thigh injury. Seeded third at the Family Circle Cup, she retired from her first match while leading against qualifier Christina McHale. At the Porsche Grand Prix, she was upset in the second round by qualifier Anna Lapischenkova, who was ranked number 138 at the time. At the Italian Open, as the ninth seed, Azarenko was defeated by Anna Ivanovic. As the tenth seed at the Madrid Open, Azarenka retired from her first round match against Peng Shui citing a groin injury. At the 2010 French Open, Azarenko was defeated in the first round by unseeded Gisela Dolgo. As she reached the quarterfinals in 2009, this loss caused Azarenka to drop to world number 15. Azarenko was unseeded at the Aegon International. Azarenka fell to qualifier Ekaterina Makarova in the final. Azarenka at the 2010 US Open Azarenko was seeded 14th at Wimbledon. She lost to eventual semi-finalist Petra Kivitova in the third round. The defeat dropped Azarenka to world number 18, as she was defending quarterfinal points from 2009. I don't know. I just don't like to look for excuses, you know, the lights, the fans, I don't know everything. To me, I'm just very disappointed with the way I played. Victoria Azarenka after her first round loss to Anna Ivanovic in Cincinnati. To begin the summer hardcourt season, Azarenka competed in the Bank of the West Classic as a wild card and eighth seed. Azarenka defeated Maria Sharapova in the final, after defeating top seed Samantha Stoser in the semifinals to win her first title since April 2009. The win propelled Azarenka to world number 12. Despite being the favorite to win the Mercury Insurance Open, Azarenko withdrew to recover from a right shoulder injury. 
seated ninth at the Western and Southern Open, Azarenko was stunned in the first round by world number 62, Ana Ivanovic, despite serving for the match twice in the second set and being within two points of victory on Ivanovic's serve wink with a frown, it was Azarenka's second defeat by Ivanovic in 2010. However, she won the doubles title, partnering with Maria Kirilenko, defeating Lisa Raymond and Rennie Stubbs. September 1, 2010, daytime, at the U.S. Open, losing 0-4 during her second round against Gisela Dolgo, Azarenka collapsed on the court. There were concerns that the cause of the fall was heat-related. Azarenko was taken to a local hospital for treatment and was diagnosed with a concussion after hitting her head whilst warming up before the match during a sprint exercise. Azarenko won only seven Grand Slam matches for the entire year, matching her 2007 tally. At the Pan Pacific Open, she lost to Caroline Wozniacki in the semifinals in three sets. Azarenka re-entered the top ten after this run. At the China Open, Azarenka retired in her second-round match to Tamiya Baczynski. At the Kremlin Cup Azarenka, as the second seed, defeated Maria Kirilenko in the final, coming back from 4-0 down in the second set to win her fifth career title. Azarenka's performance in Moscow qualified her for the year-end tour championships, where she was in the white group as the eighth seed. In her first round-robin match, Azarenka lost to Vera Zvonareva and then lost to Kim Kleisters in her second match. This assured that she did not qualify for the semifinals. In her final match of the tournament and season, she defeated Yankovic for the second year in a row. Azarenka ended the year as world number 10, her second consecutive year-end top 10 finish. 2011 Miami Open title WTA Tour Championships final Azarenka began her year at the Metabank International as the seventh seed, where she lost to Kim Kleisters in the quarterfinals. At the 2011 Australian Open Azarenka was seeded eighth. She lost to the ninth seed and eventual finalist, Li Na in the fourth round. Azarenka partnered with Maria Kirilenko in the women's doubles event, but the pair lost to Gisela Dolko and Flavia Panetta in the final. Azarenka then traveled to Israel to compete in Fed Cup. Belarus beat Croatia, Austria, and Greece in the group stage, without losing a match. The Belarusian team then defeated Poland 2-0 to qualify for the World Group 2 playoffs in April where they played Estonia. Azarenka playing at the 2011 Australian Open Azarenka's next tournament was the Dubai Championships, where she was seeded 7th. She lost to Flavia Panetta in the third round. Azarenka then competed at the Qatar Open as the sixth seed, but lost to Daniela Hantachova in the first round in three sets. Azarenka's next event was the BNP Paribas Open, where she competed as the eighth seed. She retired in the quarterfinals against world number one Caroline Wozniacki, whilst trailing 0-3, due to a left leg injury. Azarenka then competed at the Sony Ericsson Open as the eighth seed. She reached her second final at the event, where she defeated 16th seed Maria Sharapova to win the title. At the Andalusia Tennis Experience, Azarenka was the top seed and dropped only 14 games on her way to the final. She defeated Irina Camelia Begu in the final. Azarenka's victory, and Sam Stoser's inability to defend her points at Charleston, ensured that Azarenka would reach a career high of world number 5. She then participated in Belarus' 5-0 win over Estonia in the Fed Cup. In her next tournament, the Porsche Grand Prix, Azarenka retired after winning the first set of her first match, ending her 12-match winning streak. At the Madrid Masters, Azarenka was seeded fourth. She lost in the final in straight sets to Petra Kivitova, but still rose to a career-high world number four. Azarenka then reached the quarterfinals of the Internazionale BNL d'Italia in Rome, where she was up a set before retiring to eventual champion Maria Sharapova. Azarenka at the 2011 Rogers Cup Azarenka was the fourth seed at the French Open. She beat Andrea Hlavakova in the first round, Pauline Parmentier in the second round, 30th seed Roberta Vinci in the third round, and Ekaterina Makarova in the fourth round to reach her fourth career Grand Slam quarterfinal. 
she lost to Li Na in the quarterfinals. Azarenko was the fourth seed at Wimbledon. She beat 25th seed Daniela Hantichova in a three-set third-round match before beating Nadia Petrova. She followed that up with an easy victory over Tamira Pashek, advancing to the semifinals of a Grand Slam for the first time. Azarenko was beaten by Czech player and eventual champion Patrick Kivitova, going down in three sets. Her next tournament was the Bank of the West Classic, where she was the defending champion and top seed. Azarenko was ousted by 124th-ranked Marina Arakovic from New Zealand in the second round. Despite her horrible match in singles, Azarenka claimed the doubles title with partner Kirilenko. The next tournament Azarenka played was the Rogers Cup, where she was seeded fourth. After a bye, Azarenka beat Stephanie Dubois, Maria Jose Martinez Sanchez, and Galina Voskabiva before being stopped by Serena Williams in the semifinals. Azarenka reached the doubles final with Kirilenko, but the team withdrew, citing a hand injury to Azarenka. Azarenka pulled out of the Western and Southern Open with the same injury. Azarenka's next tournament was the U.S. Open, where she was seeded fourth. She made it to the third round, where she was defeated by 28th seed and eventual runner-up Serena Williams. Despite the early loss, she reached a new career high of number three in the world. Azarenka reached the semifinals of the Pan Pacific Open, losing to eventual champion Agnieszka Radwanska. In doing so she qualified for the year-end championships in Istanbul. The Belarusian participated in the China Open, the last of the four mandatory events for 2011, as the second seed. She defeated Polona Hercog in the second round, after receiving a first-round bye. She then withdrew from the tournament, citing a right foot strain. Azarenko would win her third title of the year at the Luxembourg Open, defeating Monica Nicolescu in the final. Azarenko was placed in the white group at the Tour Championships. She beat Samantha Stoser and Li Na in her first two round robin matches. She secured the move to the semifinals despite her loss in three sets to Marion Bertoli, a substitute for Maria Sharapova. She then beat Vera Zvonareva to move to the final where she lost to Petra Kivitova in three sets, 2012, first major title, two Olympic medals, world number one Azarenka claimed her first title of the season at the Apia International Sydney as the third seed. She defeated her first three opponents, Stephanie Vogel, Yelena Yankovic and Marion Bertoli all in straight sets to advance to the semifinals where she defeated the seventh seed, Agnieszka Radwanska in three sets to reach the final. She went on to win against the defending champion Li Na in three sets. Azarenka competed at the Australian Open as the third seed, defeating Heather Watson, Casey Delacqua, Mona Barthel and Aveta Benisova in the first four rounds without dropping a set. In the quarterfinals, Azarenka faced a sterner test against world number 8, Agnieszka Radwanska, but won in three sets. She then defeated the 11th seed and defending champion Kim Kleisters to reach her first major singles final, where she faced the world number 4 Maria Sharapova. After a nervous start Azarenka proceeded to win the last nine games to win the title, Azarenka recorded her first Grand Slam singles title and became the world number 1, with effect from January 30th. 2012, in the same match. Her first tournament as world number one was the Qatar Open. She won her third title of the year in Doha, defeating Sam Stoser in the final. Azarenka planned to compete at the Dubai Championships. However, after a bye in the first round, she withdrew from the tournament due to an ankle injury. In March, she played in the BNP Paribas Open, where she was the top seed. In a rerun of the 2012 Australian Open decider, her opponent in the final was world number no. 2 Maria Sharapova, and once again, Azarenko won in straight sets, thus extending her undefeated record in 2012 to 23-0. Azarenko's 26-match win streak ended in the quarters of the Sony Ericsson Open in a straight-set loss against Marion Bertoli. Azarenka, in left, with Olympic bronze medal at the 2012 Summer Olympics. She and Max Murney also won the mixed doubles gold beating Britain's Laura Robson and Andy Murray. In April, she competed at the Porsche Tennis Grand Prix. 
Making it to the semifinals she faced Agnieszka Radwanska and won in straight sets. This win meant she had beaten Radwanska in all five matches against her this year. Azarenko would then face world number two Maria Sharapova in the final where she fell in straight sets. Azarenka then competed at the Madrid Open. She made it to the finals but was beaten easily by Serena Williams in straight sets. The result gave Azarenka only her third defeat of the year. Azarenka's next tournament was the Internationale BNL d'Italia, she advanced to the third round quite easily but then withdrew from the tournament, citing a right shoulder strain, and avoided a third round clash with Dominika Sabolkova. At the French Open, she defeated Alberta Brienti, Dinah Pfizemeyer and Alexandra Wozniak respectively to qualify for the fourth round. However, in the fourth round, she lost in straight sets against Dominika Sabolkova of Slovakia. As a result, she lost her world number one ranking to eventual Roland Garros champion Maria Sharapova. Azarenka then competed at Wimbledon, winning her first four matches in straight sets. She then defeated Tamira Pasek in the quarterfinals, also in straight sets, before losing to Serena Williams for the sixth straight time in the semifinal, bringing their head-to-head 8-1 -head -to in Serena's favor. Nonetheless, she regained the world number one ranking after the tournament due to Sharapova's loss in the fourth round. Later in the month, Azarenka took part in the 2012 Summer Olympics tennis event, held at the All England Club in Wimbledon, London. She entered two events, playing in both the women's singles and the mixed doubles alongside ATP doubles World No. 1 Max Murney. In singles, Azarenko won her first four matches, all in straight sets, before falling in the semifinals, losing for the third time of the season and the ninth time overall to eventual gold medalist Serena Williams. Azarenka rebounded by winning the bronze medal match over Maria Kirilenko in straight sets, earning the first ever Olympic medal in tennis for Belarus. Azarenka got her first gold medal in the 2012 Summer Olympics on August 5, 2012, with Max Murney for Belarus, defeating Andy Murray and Laura Robson of Great Britain in a tiebreak. Azarenka reached the quarterfinals for the first time at the 2012 U.S. Open, winning her first four matches in straight sets for the loss of only 10 games. There, she faced defending champion Samantha Stoser and eliminated her from the tournament in a two-and-a-half-hour three-set thriller which was decided by a final set tiebreak. Azarenka then faced former U.S. Open champion and world number three Maria Sharapova in the semifinal. Azarenka was able to come through the match after being a set down. In the final she faced former U.S. Open champion and world number 4 Serena Williams, losing for the eighth consecutive time despite serving for the match in the third set. In mid-September, Azarenka played an exhibition match against Dominika Sabolkova in Ho Chi Minh City, Vietnam, winning the match in straight sets. Azarenka then played at the Torrey Pan Pacific Open in Tokyo where, in the quarters, she retired from the tournament due to dizziness. She then played the China Open, advancing to the quarterfinals without dropping a set. There she defeated Romina Oprandi and then eased past Marion Bertoli en route to the finals. The finals was set for another top two seeded match as it was Azarenka facing world number two Maria Sharapova for the fifth time of the year. Azarenka was able to win the match comfortably. The win gave Azarenka her second premier mandatory title of the year and fifth overall title of the year. Azarenka then played at the Generali Ladies Linz, where she advanced to the semifinals without dropping a set. In the semis she faced Irina Camelia Begu, winning easily. In the finals she faced Germany's Julia Gorges and won the match in straight sets, tying Serena with six titles for the year. Azarenka's final tournament of the year was the WTA Tour Championships where she was drawn in the red group along with world number no. 3, Serena Williams, world number no. 5, Angelique Kerber and world number no. 8, Lina. In match 1 she beat Kerber but was subsequently beaten by Serena Williams. In her final round robin match, she beat Lina, ensuring her year-end number no. 1 ranking. As the runner-up of her group, Azarenka faced white group winner Maria Sharapova in the semifinals. 
After clinching the world number one spot in her previous match against Lee, she seemed physically drained to compete well and lost to Sharapova in two sets. Azarenka set a new record for single-season prize money in 2012, earning $7.9 million. She also finished the season with a 69-10 win-loss record and six titles, losing five of those matches to Serena Williams, two to Maria Sharapova, one to Marion Bertoli, one to Dominika Sabolkova and the remaining loss coming on a retirement to Tamira Pasek. Azarenka lost to Ekaterina Makarova in the second round of the Madrid Open. She reached the final in the Italian Open by defeating Julia Gorges, Ayumi Morita, Sam Stoser, and Sarah Arani, but lost to Serena Williams in the final. In the French Open, as the third seed, she reached the semi-final before she was defeated by Maria Sharapova, who ended the tournament as runner-up. Azarenka at the 2013 Southern California Open in the first round of the Wimbledon Championships she defeated Maria Joao Kohler in straight sets, but suffered a knee injury early in the second set. Citing the injury, she withdrew from the championships before her second round match against Flavia Panetta. Following her injury-enforced early exit from Wimbledon, Azarenka returned to action at the Southern California Open, where she was the top seed. After receiving a first-round bye, she defeated Francesca Schiavone, Ursula Radwanska and Anna Ivanovich, the latter in three sets, before losing to Samantha Stoser in straight sets in the championship match. The loss to Stoser marked her first loss against her, after previously winning their first eight encounters, Azarenka later withdrew from the Rogers Cup, citing a back injury. Seated second at Cincinnati, Azarenka received a first-round bye, following which she won her first match at the tournament since 2009, when she defeated local Hope Vania King in the second round. That was then followed by wins over Magdalena Rabarikova, Caroline Wozniacki, her first victory against her since 2009, and Yelena Yankovic, en route to reaching her fifth final of the year, where she defeated Serena Williams in a championship match to pick up her third title for the year. At the U.S. Open, where Azarenka was seeded second, she reached the final for the second consecutive year. In her first-round match, she defeated Dinah Pfizenmayer without losing a game. In her second-round match, she defeated Alexandra Wozniak in straight sets. In her third and fourth-round matches, she respectively battled past Alize Cornette and Anna Ivanovich, coming from a set down to win both matches. In her quarter-final match, she defeated Daniela Hantachova in straight sets. In the semi-final match, she defeated surprise semi-finalist Flavia Panetta. However, she lost in the final to Serena Williams in three sets, Azarenka then endured an unsuccessful Asian swing, losing in the second round to former number one and seven-time Grand Slam champion Venus Williams in straight sets in Tokyo, and losing in the first round to Andrea Petkovic in an error-riddled performance in Beijing. Azarenka's 2013 season ended with a poor showing at the 2013 WTA Tour Championships, winning only one of her three-round robin matches and failing to reach the semifinals for the first time since 2010. 2014-15, injuries and struggle Azarenka's 2014 season was blighted by a foot injury. As a result, she missed five months of the season and called an early end to her season in September. The injuries forced her to miss seven of her first 16 events of the season, including the 2014 French Open. Azarenka only managed to make it to one final all season in her first tournament of the year in Brisbane, where she lost to Serena Williams in straight sets. In three other tournaments, Azarenka managed to reach the quarterfinals, but failed to progress any further. She lost to Agnieszka Radwanska at the Australian Open in Montreal and to Ekaterina Makarova at the U.S. Open. Elsewhere, she suffered losses in her opening matches at tournaments in Indian Wells, Eastbourne, and Stanford. At Wimbledon she lost in her second-round match to Bojana Jovanovski in three sets. Azarenka's 2014 season ended in September, with her sighting injury, she ended the year ranked world number 32, her lowest finish since 2006. Azarenka started the 2015 season at the Brisbane International, losing to Karolina Pliskova in three sets, despite having multiple match points. As of being a runner-up last year, she dropped out from the top 40. 
However, Azarenka reached the fourth round at the Australian Open, beating eight-seed Caroline Wozniacki en route, but lost to Dominika Sabolkova in three sets. In Doha, Azarenka scored three wins over top 20 players against Angelique Kerber, fifth-ranked Wozniacki and Venus Williams, before losing to Lucy Safarova in the final. She then played in Indian Wells in Miami, losing in the third round at both. Azarenka opened her clay season in Madrid, where she beat Venus Williams, but lost to her sister Serena in third round, despite having three match points. Next she reached the quarterfinals in Rome, losing to Maria Sharapova again after Sharapova previously beat her at Indian Wells. At the French Open, she lost eight games before reaching the third round, but then fell to Serena Williams, despite being two service games from victory in the second set. She withdrew from the second round match in Birmingham citing a foot injury. Azarenka made a run to the Wimbledon quarterfinals with four straight set wins, but lost to Serena Williams again after taking the first set. She returned to action in Toronto, reaching the third round after beating Alina Svitolina and third seed Petra Kivitova. She then seemed to be frustrated by Irani's medical timeout during the first set where she was up a break. Azarenka won just four of the next 14 games and lost the match. Azarenka reached the third round of the Western and Southern Open in Cincinnati, beating Lauren Davis and fifth seed Caroline Wozniacki. She then retired against Anastasia Pavlyuchenkova. She beat Lucy Radetska, Yanina Wickmayer, 11th seed Angelique Kerber and Vavara Lipchenko to reach the quarterfinals at the U.S. Open. She then lost in three sets to second seed Simona Halep. 2016, Sunshine Double, Top 5, Tennis Hiatus Azarenka started her season at the Brisbane International in Australia. She reached the final after defeating Elena Vesnina, Isolin Bonaventure, 8th seed Roberta Vinci and surprise qualifier Samantha Crawford. She faced 4th seed Angelique Kerber in the final and won the title without losing a set in the entire tournament. This was her 18th WTA title and her first since the 2013 Western and Southern Open. At the Australian Open, Azarenko was seeded 14th and reached the quarterfinals without dropping a set, including a double bagel win over Alison Van Witvank. However, in her quarterfinal match she was defeated in straight sets by 7th seed and eventual champion Angelique Kerber, who had never defeated Azarenka in their previous six matches. Azarenka was ahead in the second set but failed to convert five set points. Azarenka played her first 250 point international event since 2011 in Acapulco, Mexico. She withdrew after a first round win over Polona Hercog. Azarenka next played, and won, at Indian Wells. The title included wins over Serena Williams, Karolina Pliskova, and a double bagel win over Magdalena Rabarikova. Her ranking rose to number 8 after Indian Wells. Two weeks later, Azarenka beat Svetlana Kuznetsova in the Miami final to become only the third player to win the Indian Wells Miami double in the same year. The title included a straight sets revenge defeat of Angelique Kerber in the semifinals and a win over Garbina Muguruza in the fourth round in their first meeting. Her ranking rose to number 5 afterwards. Azarenka started her clay court season at the Madrid Open as the fourth seed. She cruised through the first two rounds with wins over Laura Robson and Alize Cornet. However, she withdrew from her third round match with Luisa Kiriko citing a back injury. After losing to Irina Camelia Begu in her first match in Rome, she retired from her first round match against Karen Knapp at the French Open, citing a knee injury. The same injury led her to withdraw from Wimbledon, Azarenka announced her pregnancy through social media on July 15, and missed the rest of the 2016 season as a result. On December 20, 2016, Azarenka gave birth to a boy named Leo, she subsequently split from his father and a custody battle ensued. 2017, return to tour, child custody battle Azarenka returned to competitive tennis at the Mallorca Open, 19-25 June, winning her first match against Risa Ozaki after saving three match points in the final set. She lost in the second round to Ana Kanju. At Wimbledon, Azarenka used her protected ranking to enter the main draw. She came back from a set down to defeat American teenager Cece Bellis in the first round. 
In the second round, she completed the first straight sets win of her return by knocking out 15th seed Elena Vesnina. In the third round, Azarenka beat Heather Watson in a three-set match in two hours and six minutes. She was beaten by world number two, Simona Halep in the fourth round in straight sets. In mixed doubles event, Azarenka teamed up with the former world number one in men doubles Nainad Zimanich where they lost in the first round of the championship to the 2016 Wimbledon mixed doubles champion, Henri Kontinen and Heather Watson, in straight sets at the same day when Azarenka defeated Watson in the women's singles event. In August 2017, Azarenka's custody battle for her eight-month-old son resulted in her withdrawal from that year's U.S. Open. She also missed the 2017 Fed Cup final, in which her native Belarus lost 2-3 to the United States. 2018, Top 100, Wimbledon Mixed Doubles Final Azarenka originally received a wild card for the Australian Open, but she withdrew from the tournament due to her ongoing custody battle. On January 16, 2018, it was announced that Azarenka had won her custody battle hearing and was due to resume her career with the Indian Wells Open. She lost to Sloane Stevens in the third round. At the Miami Open, she set up a rematch against Stevens after defeating Karolina Pliskova in the quarterfinal round in straight sets. She lost in three sets. With her run to the semifinals, Azarenka returned to the top 100 for the first time since returning to tour. At the Madrid Open, Azarenka lost in round two to Karolina Pliskova. At the Italian Open, she was defeated in the opening round by Naomi Osaka. At the French Open, Azarenka was defeated in the first round by Katerina Siniakova. Azarenka started the grass court season at the Mallorca Open, where she lost in the second round to Lucy Safarova. At Wimbledon, she lost in the second round to another Czech player, Karolina Pliskova. Nonetheless, she reached the final in the mixed doubles, partnering Jamie Murray. At the U.S. Open, Azarenka lost in the third round in straight sets to defending champion Sloane Stevens, then she played in the quarterfinals of Tokyo. 2019 U.S. Open Doubles Final, Top 50 Azarenka at the 2019 French Open at the Australian Open, Azarenka lost to Laura Siegmund in the first round, she won doubles in Acapulco, partnering Jing Sai Sai. In Monterey, Azarenka advanced to the final, defeating Anastasia Pavlyuchenkova and Angelique Kerber along the way. She retired in the second set against defending champion Garbina Muguruza, citing a right leg injury, as she was losing 1-6, 1-3. At Wimbledon, she lost in the third round to eventual champion Simona Halep. At the U.S. Open, she made the final in women's doubles partnering Ashley Barty. 2020, first title since 2016, major final, top 20 Azarenko withdrew from the Australian Open due to personal problems. Her first match in 2020 was at the Monterey Open, where she lost in the first round to Tamara Zydensek in straight sets. She then withdrew from Indian Wells for undisclosed reasons before the tournament was cancelled and the WTA Tour was suspended due to the COVID-19 pandemic. When the WTA Tour resumed she played her first tournament in five months at the top seed Open in Lexington where she lost in the first round to Venus Williams in straight sets. Azarenka next played at the Western and Southern Open, winning the title via walkover in the final after Naomi Osaka withdrew citing a hamstring injury. This became her first WTA singles title since the 2016 Miami Open and since giving birth to her son. Following the victory, Azarenka climbed 22 places in the world rankings to 27 th place. Azarenka was unseated in singles at the U.S. Open, given that seedings were taken from the rankings the week prior to her big win. She defeated Barbara Haas in the first round, then defeated the fifth seed and world no. 11. Her countrywoman Irina Sabalenka in the second round. Azarenka then defeated Polish teenager Iga Swiatek in the third round, before coming back from a set down to defeat the 20th seed Karolina Muchova, advancing to her first Grand Slam quarterfinal since the 2016 Australian Open. With Serena Williams and Satana Peronkova also making the last eight, it marked the first time in Grand Slam history that three mothers advanced to the quarterfinals. She defeated Elise Mertens in the quarterfinals and achieved her first ever Grand Slam victory over Serena Williams in three sets in the semifinals. 
she proceeded to a Grand Slam final for the first time since the 2013 U.S. Open, where she lost to Osaka, despite leading by a set and a break. Despite the loss, Azarenka's ranking rose to number 14, her highest ranking since January 2017. In the clay court swing, which started the following week at the Italian Open, she had victories over Venus Williams and reigning Australian Open champion Sofia Kennan. The win over Kennan was the 10th double bagel in Azarenka's career, and her first on clay since 2011, after a third-round win due to Daria Kasakina's retirement, she was defeated by Garbina Muguruza in the quarterfinals. However, at a cold and gray Roland Garros, Azarenko was defeated in straight sets by Anna Karolina Shmidlova in the second round, having courted attention in the previous round for leaving the court mid-match after complaining to tournament staff about the playing conditions. At the end of the season, Azarenka entered the Ostrava Open as the fourth seed in singles. She reached the finals, but was defeated by Sabalenka in straight sets, in a final in which she said she had struggled with a migraine, 2021, Indian Wells Final In 2021, Azarenka first played at the Grampians Trophy, a tournament organized for players affected by the hard quarantine imposed upon those who traveled on flights that contained positive results for COVID-19. She defeated Yulia Putintseva in the second round. She withdrew prior to her match in the quarterfinals against Annette Kontavet, citing a lower back injury. Azarenka disappointed at the Australian Open, losing in the first round to the unseeded Jessica Pagula. At Doha, Azarenka defeated Svetlana Kuznetsova and Laura Siegmund in straight sets, before facing Alina Svitolina in the quarterfinals. Azarenka was afflicted by a lower back injury throughout the match. Despite this, Azarenka defeated Svitolina in straight sets. She withdrew before her match against eventual runner-up and world number 16 Garbina Muguruza. She withdrew from Dubai, citing a back injury. Her next tournament was the Miami Open. In receipt of a second-round bye, she received a walkover from Laura Siegmund into the third round. In the third round, Azarenka recorded a straight sets victory over Angelique Kerber, before falling to world number one and eventual champion Ashley Barty in the fourth round in three sets. Azarenka started her clay season at Madrid, where she defeated Ekaterina Alexandrova. She then withdrew from her match against Jessica Pagula, citing a lower back injury. At the French Open, she reached the fourth round only for the fifth time in her career, defeating Svetlana Kuznetsova, Clara Tosin, and Madison Keys, before falling to eventual runner-up Anastasia Pavlyuchenkova in three sets. At the German Open, Azarenka reached the semi-finals, defeating Andrea Petkovic, Angelique Kerber, and Jessica Pagula, before falling to the eventual champion, Ludmila Samsonova. Partnering compatriot Irena Sabalenka, Azarenka won the doubles event at the same tournament, defeating the top-seeded pair of Demi Schurz and Nicole Melicher. At Bad Homburg, she defeated Yulia Hatuka and Alize Cornet, saving four match points in the process. She then withdrew from her match against Sarah Sorabi's Tormo, citing an abdominal injury. At Wimbledon, she defeated Katarina Kozlova in the first round, before falling to Serena Sursti, despite having a 3-1 lead in the third set. At the 2021 National Bank Open in Canada she reached her first Masters WTA 1000 quarterfinal for the season. Seated 18th at the U.S. Open, Azarenka swept aside Teresa Martinkova, 6-4, 6-0, then squeaked past Jasmine Paulini, 6-3, 7-6, before falling to 9th seed Garbina Muguruza in three sets. At Indian Wells, she went one step further than in Canada, reaching the semifinals of the tournament for the fourth time in her career defeating again Jessica Pagula. In the semifinal she defeated Yelena Ostapenko to reach her third Indian Wells final, which she lost to Paula Badosa. Only two women had won more matches in Indian Wells overall than her 33, Lindsay Davenport, 47, and Maria Sharapova, 38. 2022 500th tour level win Azarenka at the 2022 French Open Azarenka opened her season at the Adelaide International reaching the quarterfinals and losing to Swiatek in three sets. She reached semifinals in the doubles, partnering with Paula Badosa. However, she withdrew from the semis, citing her right thigh injury, 
At the Australian Open Azarenka reached the fourth round which was her best result since 2016. At the WTA 1000 Qatar Open, she recorded her 500th tour-level match win defeating Yulia Putintseva in the first round. She withdrew from her second-round match, citing a left hip injury. In her next two tournaments at Indian Wells and Miami, she reached the third round. At Miami, she walked off the court while trailing 16-year-old Linda Fervertova in the third round, despite the umpire asking her to wait for her trainer. She said later it was because her personal life was extremely stressful. Former world number no. 5 Daniela Handachova said, The most disrespectful thing about this is how she walked off the court without really giving a reason for retiring. I think the WTA will really have to look into this. This one for me is really bizarre and really disrespectful to the crowd, to the umpire and most importantly to Linda, Fruvertova. I think Vika, Azarenka, just knows if she kept going this way she would be off the court anyway very shortly. Six months later, former world number no. 2 Agnieszka Radwanska said, she has done theater more than once before, she has faked injuries etc. I think, God, girl. You're 33, you've got everything on the court, you're a mom. And you do something like that. It is completely incomprehensible to me. During the clay court season, she reached the round of 16 while playing at the Madrid Open and at the Italian Open. At Roland Garros, Azarenka lost in the third round to Jill Teichmann in a three-set match lasting three hours. Azarenka decided not to play any grass court tournaments due to Wimbledon's ban on Russian and Belarusian players. Azarenka started her North American hard court swing at the 2022 City Open. She reached the quarterfinals before falling to Wang Xiu. She pulled out of the Canadian Open due to her travel visa getting declined. At the Cincinnati Open she fell in the second round to Emma Rajakanku. At the U.S. Open she reached the fourth round with wins over Kostuk and Marduk before falling to Karolina Pliskova in three sets. At the Guadalajara Open, she reached semifinals at the WTA 1000 level for the first time in the season but lost to eventual champion Jessica Pagula in straight sets. 2023 Australian Open Semis, WTA 1000 doubles titles seeded 24th, Azarenka returned to the semifinals of the 2023 Australian Open after 10 years. In the tournament she defeated Sofia Kennan, Nadia Podoroska, 10th seed Madison Keys, Ju Lin and 3rd seed Jessica Pagula, the points earned in the tournament moved her up to world number 16. She lost to 22nd seed Elena Rybakina in straight sets. She won her fifth WTA 1000 and tenth doubles title overall at the 2023 Mutua Madrid Open with Beatriz Haddad Maya. 2024, Australian Open fourth round, WTA 1000 semifinals Azarenka entered the 2024 Australian Open as 18th seed and defeated Camila Georgi, Clara Tossin and 11th seed Yelena Ostapenko to reach the fourth round where she lost to Diana Yastremska, following a disappointing second round exit at Indian Wells. Azarenka fought back at the second half of the Sunshine Double, the WTA 1000 2024 Miami Open. Here she reached the semifinal, defeating 7th seed Qingwen Jing and 24th seed Katie Bolter in the third and fourth round, respectively. She then lost to Elena Rybakina after winning the second set 6 0 and a final set tiebreak. Playing style Azarenka is an aggressive baseliner who is known for hitting the ball hard, flat, and early on the rise. Due to her playing style, she typically hits large numbers of winners in any match. Despite this, she hits fewer unforced errors than similarly aggressive players, as her game is built around controlled aggression. Despite hitting her ground strokes with relentless depth and power, Azarenka aims to move her opponents around the court, counterpunching until she can create the opportunity to hit a low-risk winner. Azarenka's strongest ground stroke is her two-handed backhand, which she uses to dominate opponents on the court. She is widely considered to have one of the greatest backhands of all time. Her signature shot is her backhand down the line. Azarenka also possesses a strong forehand, with which she can rally effectively and hit winners, although her forehand is more vulnerable than her backhand. As such, players who are acquainted with her game target her forehand. 
Azarenka possesses a powerful first serve, which has been recorded as high as 111 miles per hour, 179 kilometers per hour, allowing her to serve aces. Despite her strong first serve, her second serve is known for its volatility. When nervous, Azarenka typically commits a significant number of double faults. Her inconsistencies on serve are balanced by her return game, with her being described as one of the greatest return players in the history of the WTA Tour. She is known for her ability to neutralize powerful first serves and punish short second serves. Azarenka is known for her intensity, movement, speed, court coverage, footwork, and balance, allowing her to blend offense and defense effectively and to execute her aggressive, yet control playing style effectively. Despite typically playing from the baseline, Azarenka is a capable net player due to her doubles experience, and she is adept at attacking the net when the opportunity arises. Azarenka is known for her mental strength and competitive spirit, and was described by Sloane Stevens as a tough competitor. Azarenka prefers to play on hard courts, where the regular bounce and moderate pace suit her aggressive, yet measured, playing style. Azarenka is commonly regarded as a hard court specialist due to the fact that all but one of her 21 singles titles have been won on hard courts, due to her strong two-handed backhand, exceptional return game, mental strength, and preference for hard courts, she has been compared to Novak Djokovic, endorsements and earnings Azarenka is one of the most profitable stars in women's tennis. Azarenka is endorsed by Nike for clothing, footwear, and apparel, and is frequently featured in promotional material for the company. Red Bull entered into a deal with Azarenka in January 2013, making her the first tennis player sponsor for the beverage and sports investment giant. Throughout her career, Azarenka has been sponsored by numerous racket companies. From the start of her junior career, up to 2012, she was sponsored by Head and used the Head Extreme Racket. From 2012 to 2017, she was sponsored by Wilson, using the Wilson Ultra 100 Racket. Upon her return to tennis after pregnancy in 2017, Azarenka signed an endorsement deal with Yonex for rackets, using the E-Zone 100 racket. She switched back to the Wilson Ultra 100 in 2018, although she was not under contract with the company. After her successful 2020 season, she became endorsed by Wilson once again. Other endorsement partners include American Express, Citizen Watch, and Six Star Pro Nutrition. She was also endorsed by the investment company Instaforex from 2013 to 2016. Citizen Watch manufactured an exclusive range of watches designed by Azarenka in 2013. In August 2013, Azarenka was named the fourth highest paid female athlete in the world by Forbes magazine, with total earnings of $15.7 million from 2012 to 2013. Her prize money constituted $6.7 million, whilst her growing endorsements equaled $9 million. Azarenka's $7.9 million prize money haul in 2012 was a single-year record for a female athlete in any sport and remains the sixth highest single-year total earned in WTA history. With over $28.1 million in prize money, Azarenka is seventh on the list of all-time WTA prize money leaders. Coaching Azarenka has had several coaches through the years. From 2005 to 2009, she was coached by Antonio Van Grichen, and she was coached by Sam Sumik from 2010 to 2015, with whom she won her two Grand Slam titles and reached number one in the world. Their partnership finished after an injury-plagued 2014 season. She was coached by Vim Facet from 2015 to 2016 until she became pregnant, and, upon her return from pregnancy in 2017, she was coached by Michael Joyce. In November 2018, Azarenka reunited with Facet until December 2019, when he became Naomi Osaka's coach. In February 2020, Azarenka announced Dorian Deskoix as her new coach and has experienced renewed success with Deskoix, returning to the upper echelon of women's tennis. Azarenka split from Deskoix in October 2021, instead choosing to work with Maxime Chutakian. Rivalries throughout her career, Victoria Azarenka has established rivalries with other players on the WTA Tour. Her rivalries with Serena Williams and Maria Sharapova are among the most significant on the WTA Tour, as all three players have played each other at least 15 times.